Hey there everyone, it's Helen. I am the National Artist for Sephora Collection and I am at home today, but I wanna share with you our trend to try, which is brow laminating. Brow laminating is super cool. It really does just help your brows stay put. So if you have wily hairs or curly hairs or too straight or they grow downwards, this trend is for you. It will truly help to keep your brows locked in place and ready to go all day long. So we're gonna dive right in using a wax, which is really going to seal the deal for brow laminating. Okay, so to kick off this trend to try, I'm going to use the Patrick Ta Major Brow Shaping Wax. And this product really needs to be activated. So I'm using it in clear. And I'm going to activate it using the Tower 28 SOS Save Our Skin Daily Facial Rescue Spray. You can absolutely use water. I just really like to use this product because it just gives you that extra like oomph to everything. So start by just spritzing it directly into the product. And then next I'm going to use the Patrick Ta Major Brow Dual Ended Brow Brush and I'm going to use the spoolie end first. And you really want to make sure you're not getting too much in one area. So I like to kind of roll and drag it across the product lightly. You don't want too much because a little bit goes a really long way with this, which is awesome. You're going to just apply it directly into your brow. And I like to do a brush up and kind of even dig it in a little bit just to make sure it's coating all of your brow hairs. So it can kind of look a little bit wooly and weird at first, but trust me, it's gonna look great. And you do all this before you even fill in with any color. It's an unusual product, but it really does get the job done to really tame those brows. So that's pretty coated. And before this one dries, I really want to do the laminating step. So taking this flat side of the brush, so it's almost like triple ended because you get to use this side too, the middle part, and you're gonna push the product right up against your skin. So you can see there's really making those brow hairs really stick to your skin. And that just really makes it so everything um, remains tame and upright as it dries. And then once it dries, you have a lot more um, time to play with it. So I'm gonna let this one dry and I'll do the other side now. And I'm going to reactivate the product because it's dried. And the big thing with this is not to overload your brush with too much wax. A little bit really does go a long way. Um, so you can even be sure to feel it and you can see how much product you actually have on your brush with your fingers and just go right back in. And you wanna use like pretty firm pressure when you're doing this, just to make sure you really are pushing them up against your skin. Really, it doesn't take very long to dry. You can kind of sense when it's dry because you'll see that it just doesn't feel cool anymore on your skin. But I would say maybe 30 seconds is enough and then you can just dive right into the next step. Okay, so the next step is to use that same spoolie side. And for this, you really just want to comb through what you have. So as you can see, it's like really pushed against my skin. So you want it to make it look more like hair again, I guess. So really just fluffing it back up and giving it more of a natural like bend to it is really nice too. Uh, some people really like to style their brows like all the way up. My brow hairs are like uneven and I don't really like trimming them. So if you're really good about grooming your brows, you can totally do that. But um, I like to go for something that's like a little bit more of a natural bend as opposed to like straight up. And I can already see where I have like gaps in my brow that I'm gonna need to fill. And any place that you see, like I just saw that I had a little place here that was a little dark. So just make sure you comb through it really gently. You can use the really the tip of the brush. It's usually just because you have a little too much product on that one um, hair. And so it's like clumping your hairs together. So you can just kind of comb them out really gently using that brush. The final step is to fill in where you have gaps. So I'm going to use the Sephora Collection Retractable Brow Pencil. This one is in 1.5 taupe. And I like this because it not only has the pencil on one side, but also has the spoolie on the other. So you can always comb through it if you get too much product somewhere. Um, but really with this, you just want to fill where you have gaps. So I see that I have a gap like kind of in here and you can go lighter on this like base of the brow and then much more defined on the ends just by pushing harder and then doing short like hair like strokes. You can see that makes like a huge difference. So now it's totally filled and ready to go and that is what brow laminating is. 
brow laminating is actually super easy, even though it maybe looks intimidating at first. Let me know if you try it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, bye everyone. Thank you.